I'm an Indigenous Emergency Specialist. I work at Royal Melbourne Hospital. Uh, I'm the only Indigenous Emergency Specialist in the country. Um, that will change in the next couple of years when we have three or four more Indigenous Emergency Medicine trainees uh, finish their training. And so that will be fantastic. Um, as part of the Emergency Medicine College, we have the um, uh, College Foundation, ASIM Foundation, which um, as part of that has a Joseph Epstein Scholarship, um, which provides uh, funding for Indigenous Emergency Medicine trainees um, for their uh, annual fees and costs of the examinations. Um, uh, and we've got currently those three uh, emergency trainees are recipients of that uh, scholarship. Um, in terms of my work at Royal Melbourne Hospital, um, I'm a full-time emergency physician uh, at Royal Melbourne Hospital and um, uh, we've just developed the um, Indigenous internship at Royal Melbourne Hospital. The inaugural year is this year in 2015 and um, uh, through developing the internship, um, uh, AIDA um, uh, were one of the uh, key stakeholders that we, uh, we negotiated with in terms of structuring our program, um, identifying uh, culturally safe and appropriate um, our programs for our Indigenous student, um, and also uh, in terms of mentorship programs, um, careers into medicine that AIDA uh, certainly has, and, and careers and pathways into specialist training is one of the uh, real things we want to identify and promote through the Indigenous internship um, and, and through AIDA's careers into medicine, uh, that's an extension uh, of the internship to get interns um, uh, able to network um, professional development and maybe become specialist uh, trainees um, in their own right. They don't have to, they can become general practitioners, they can be academics, um, uh, they can work at other hospitals if they want to after the internship, but it's really about developing our, our Indigenous workshop uh, workforce, um, uh, specifically for um, specialist uh, training.